everybody, it's Lance the Lush, and I got a special treat for you today. I haven't done one in a very, very, very long time, and we are doing a home brewer showcase. Now, Lush fans, this was actually a gift. Now, if you go way, way back, I did a, um, I did a beer swap with Open Bottle Society, and they promised me one of their own. And here it is today. This is their creation. This is from the Brown Eye Brewing Company out of Las Vegas, Nevada. And this is the Coconut Over Bessie's Popped Cherries. Now, Lush fans, I've been waiting for this one. I've been waiting for this one for a while. And let me tell you something. It's actually, I had to change the lighting around a little bit because the lighting is kind of dim for some strange reason. And I don't know why, but that's okay. It happens. But you know what? I've been waiting, waiting, waiting. Now here it is. And we're going to take a look at this right now. Now, according to this, this is a West Indies style Heffenweizen brewed with 100% water from 100% coconut water from start to finish, then ferment it for months on cherries. Now, for the record, this is 11% alcohol by volume. Now, you really can't see it on the screen. I'll take a picture of it so you know. This is um, hand signed for, from Killian Key Smith, CEO, CEO and founder. This is number 15 of 51. This is also issue number one. I'm assuming this is, I'm assuming this is the picture he's assuming of, assuming. Assuming, assuming, that makes no sense. This is brewed August of 2016 and bottled November of 2016. And this is batch number two. Now we're getting this right now. Now, I want to, do my prices right my impersonation I'm gonna make love to the bottle now as you can see it is waxed sealed which means one of the rare times I get to pull out I get to pull out the um the poor man's MacGyver knife now OBS beers you can find them at obsbeers.com because after all their show full of assholes their words not mine so keep that in mind and go check them out. That's the one thing I did notice that it was the wax bottle. And it, Key did tell me they were going to do that, and I'm okay with that. It's the fact that I don't deal with wax bottle, wax sealed bottles very often, at least not review wise. We're going to pop more. I'm going to try to pop this. Maybe there's okay. Aha, it came off in one piece. That's what I wanted. I want that wax to come off in one piece, for Lush fans. Now, moment of truth. Can I get the other part open without getting any wax? Oh, snap, 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 snap. I was not expecting that. Sorry, San Diego Padre shirt. You're going to get used. Well, Lush fans, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Hey, it happens. Now, I will say this. It definitely smells like cherries. And you do get that heffenweizen smell. As this thing settles down just a smidge. Oh, OBS beers. I'm so sorry with that one. That hasn't happened to me in a review in such a long time. It really hasn't. Yes, I'm being the asshole now. Oh, man. And I clean this up just a little bit. So we have some context here. At least I will say the head retention is pretty good. Looking in the bottle. Now, I'm going to attempt to pour this for this all this foam comes out. So here we go. Ooh, that's a nice, nice, very nice red look to it. And I don't know if you can't see here, because some change my lighting is like crazy dim today. Let's pour a little bit more in here. Now, I know there's a lot of head on this, and I totally apologize for that. Clean this up a little bit more, because the review must go on, Lush fans. The first thing I notice is that very 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 reddish orange look or, reddish orange look to it now i really can't tell let's make the very 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 bottom of this um of this stemware here there's a lot of carbonation and i look up further up the glass that head retention even though i did pour it wrong is excellent very excellent and i can get that smell away from over from me and i'm about mm, Eight, nine inches away. Well, ten inches away. Oh, it's 
smell so good. The first thing I notice with any type of Hefeweizen, you're going to get that true Hefeweizen smell, and that's exactly what I smell. Now, the cherries in it, the one thing with cherries and beers, one or two things, is really pronounced or is really in the background or you can't smell it at all. Now, I definitely can smell it. A little bit more in here and the head is very 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 frothy and I like that I very like that that goes without saying now I'm just letting this rest a little bit so I can have a little sip but I'm proud of you guys I'm really proud of them now I won't go into details I let key over on his channel discuss what's going on with him as far as what's this going What's, or what's going on here you know he does a really good job with the reviews um frank he's a home brewer over there he does a really good job over there you know i'm rooting for you guys i really really am and i thank you for sending this to me i really do now i'm gonna have a little taste so cheers Ooh. This is definitely a Hefeweizen, and a strong one at that. And it better be at 11%. Good thing I had a big lunch where I had this. The first thing I notice, you get that, you get that cherry, you definitely get that cherry taste. It's not a cherry puree or, um, like baking, like powdered baking cherries. And I'm not getting that. It's a different type of cherries, and I can't put my finger on it. I really, really can't. Hmm. It's really good. It really is. Um. There's so much body to this. I'm not totally sure how to describe it. There's so much going on, and it seems like there's so little going to it. Now, I really didn't ask for details on this one. I know I can go look or ask. I chose not to on this one, because I remember them, them doing a video on this. I decided not to go back and watch it as a reference. So basically, I'm going in this totally blind. I mean, you're getting, you're getting, I mean, you're getting the Hefenweiser taste. You're getting that cherry taste. You're getting that full body. I'm getting spice on what, getting that spice way, way, way on the back, back side of this. There's a lot of stuff going on with this. And I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to be serious with you. And you can tell I'm excited at the same time. Now this has died down to the point where I can drink it. Yes, I know it's a little bit left in this bottle, but I don't care. This lush don't care. Um, yes, I wanted a little bit of the foam just because I wanted to see if there's any difference. Um, damn. Oh, damn. This is one where I honestly... I know I only got one bottle, and the way this run was set up, I know I'm not going to get another one, so I might have to enjoy this. There's so much that went into this that makes this really good, but it also makes it very difficult to describe, describe, excuse me, not subscribe, describe, especially this being a homebrew. This is actually one of the better homebrews I've had in a while. Hence me not doing a homebrew showcase. But this one was a promise. Now, you're probably wondering, how many chocoboos I'm going to give this? I'm going to give it four and a half. 
And you probably say, well, Lush, if you like it so well, why not give it a five? One very simple reason why it's getting a four and a half. I actually need two bottles in this one. I needed two bottles. I needed one for the actual review and one to reassess. But it's very good. This Lush, if you can get your hands on one, recommends it. Now, I will give this give the link to um, Open, to Bo Open Bottle Society's um, YouTube channel below. If you want to go back and watch all their reviews, they have way more than me. You can follow them on YouTube, Periscope. Um, I'm pretty sure they're on Facebook. Yeah, they're on Facebook. I'm, I'm, I'm friends with them on Facebook. Twitter, I'm not totally sure. Um, but follow them. You know, they do a really good job out there because after all, they're a show full of assholes. Well, Lush fans, I'm going to enjoy this. This is the Brown Eye Brewing Companies out of Las Vegas. They're not open yet, but it is coming. This is the Coconuts Over Bessie's Pop Cherries. Oh, and it has coconuts in it, too. I totally forgot about that. That's probably a lot of the body right there is coconuts. I'm sorry. There's coconuts in there. But um, stay tuned for the next edition of Lance the Lush.